Hi, it's Camila, and in this video I will show you the very basics of Krita and what equipment I use for all of my artworks. This video is mostly for beginners, but I will use a time-lapse of my drawing as an example, so you can stick around for that. I post a new art video every week, if that sounds good to you, consider subscribing to my channel. The equipment I use is very simple, I use Wacom Intuos Draw for all of my drawings. It's very lightweight, I can move it easily and take it with me everywhere I go. It also comes with a pen that's also quite lightweight and it's really easy to use. I recently upgraded my laptop to an Asus one, but my old laptop worked just as well with Krita, so I don't think it's a problem if you have something else. So now for the most important part, to start we have to create a file in Krita, so just select a new file and now you can change the dimensions to whatever you want. If your computer can handle big files then go bigger, if it can't handle big files just go lower and create a smaller canvas. Krita always creates two layers on a new file, so it's a white background and then another transparent layer. I also always use the app called Pure Ref for all of my references, it's very useful. Then you have to save your file, so create a name for your file and then when you're working on your file, keep it as a Krita document, this KRA file, so you can have all your layers saved up if you want to open the drawing with all of the layers back. So basically the Krita file allows you to open your drawing in the draft form, so Whatever layers you have, if you open this kind of file, it will show up with all of those layers later on. So it's very useful if you don't want to finish your drawing in one go, but you want to come back to, to this drawing and continue working on it on another date. So now for the layers, as you can see, on the first layer that Krita automatically creates, I do my sketch. So I usually don't change the name of this layer, so I know exactly what it is. It's the first layer, it's just a sketch. I don't have to be very specific about it. So I usually create my sketch on one layer and then Depending on the drawing, sometimes I make another layer for the face or for example for the hair or for the clothes. Then to move my drawing I use this little circle option at the bottom of the screen. So at the bottom of this layers box you have a few options. The first one is to create a new layer, this plus sign. The duplicate layer is the second one. And those are the most important ones that you have to know. Every new layer is a transparent one, so you don't have to worry that it will cover up your drawing, it's always transparent. I also often use textures in my drawing, so to use a texture I usually open a new file, use a shortcut Ctrl and A to select everything, then I use a shortcut Ctrl and C to copy it, then I go back to my drawing, as you can see here, and then I just paste this, this texture using the shortcut Ctrl and V. And then I move this texture at the bottom of my drawing so it's a nice background. And then I lower the opacity of my sketch so I can see better when I do the line art. So I create a new layer for the line art and now it depends on what you do. If you like black lines or whatever, you can just do whatever. But to make the sketch 
less visible, just lower the opacity and you should be good to go with your line art. And you can do it however you want. By clicking this little eye icon next to the layer, you can change the visibility of the layer. So if you want to see if you have everything drawn on from the sketch, you can just click this little eye icon. Then I create a new layer for the colors. Here in this video I won't be describing how I do this watercolor effect, maybe I will do another video for that. But just to quickly demonstrate that I usually use one layer for the colors. The other important thing is the layer mode, so you can, as you can see you can change the modes of the layer, so it changes the style of the layer. So you can experiment and whatever suits your needs or whatever looks better for your drawing, you can just try out different styles of the blending modes of the layer. Okay, and that's basically it. I don't really use a lot of shortcuts or any fancy options in this program. I like simplicity and everything I do is quite straightforward, so I don't think Krita is that intimidating. You don't have to use all of the options. If you want to go ahead, you can google everything. Krita has a lot of resources, both on the main channel and on their website, so you can just check out everything if you want. If you want to be more knowledgeable about this app, but if you're scared or anything because it looks intimidating, it's really not. Just stick to the layers and you should be good to go, it's really not a problem. And I even like to keep it that way, I like to keep it simple so I don't have to worry about making mistakes and just have fun. Anyways, I hope that was useful and thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you want to and goodbye!